Thanks for joining me. In this uh, video lesson, we're going to talk about our THG automation, um, your cap, and specifically our edge detection. So with our Universal Robots and Fronius welding system and having our CMT torch that's attached, uh, this CMT torch is a push-pull system that um, allows us to both have the wire pushed to the torch and the torch then pulls the wire and then it does some special functionality with the wire um, to uh, give us additional functionality um, to find our uh, various uh, part locations to do you know cold metal transfer which is what cmt means in this case we have to have this torch to use a function called wire sense so wire sense allows us to contour the metal so we can find the the actual changes in the height of our metal it has to be a conductive surface so if we want to find an inside corner weld or an outside corner weld or find the edge in this case that's what we're going to do today then we have to use the wire sense functionality in the fronius so in this case the wire sense function is used we're going to call it, call it edge detect because that's what we're doing we're going to find the edge of this material so let's go in and let's set up let's take this previous previous example and we're going to go in and, and, um, and utilize this for the edge detect versus using it for touch sensing. So we're going to delete the touch sensing nodes. We're going to delete this one. And we're going to delete that one. And let's delete all these error moves in between. Now we've got the strip weld. So let's fix this strip weld because before it was trying to do the inside corner. And now let's just set up to do a strip weld along the edge of this overlap weld now. So let's create a update waypoint start here for our start. And let's go out here somewhere and let's create our end. Now when we do this, we're going to actually use a Sharpie and just mark where we're at here so we know. There we go. And our start was somewhere in here. All right, so we got a new strip weld that will run four one inch welds along this overlap weld. Uh, we, let's say this plate now moves on us a little bit and we need to find it. So in normal cases, you would use touch sensing, right? You would use touch sensing with the wire or the nozzle to find the edge of that material, but this material is you know, three millimeters thick potentially. So it's really tough to find with wire if you got too much burn back or the wire sticking out too far. If it touches this material, uh, the base material too quick before it touches the edge, it's going to fail. You're just not going to be able to find it reliably. So what we're going to do is we're going to tell the Fronius that we're searching for a material thickness of a certain thickness. In this case, we're just going to tell it three millimeters. And what it's going to do is it's going to return back when it finds that material. And we take that location and we use it to determine where our weld should be. So what we're going to do is we're going to say, all right, let's, let's make sure we know where this well position, the start position is. And it's going to be over on this end. So let's just do the end position first. In a previous example, we did the start search for the touch sensing. We did the end search for the touch sensing. Let's do the end first since we're already here. So we're going to add, after this joint move, we're going to add an edge detect. So edge detection, again, uses wire sense to come across the metal and to find it. It's very similar to touch sensing, um, but it, and instead of it touching the edge and stopping and then telling us where it's at, it's going to go across that edge, and then it's going to tell us as it's going across this edge where to find it. So we need to give this search, just as we did with touch sensing, we need to give it a name. So we're going to click on the yellow box, and we're going to go edge, or E, and then search so now we've got a name for the search that's uh, in search e search and we're going to tell it to search for a material thickness of three millimeters so let's create our first start so we're going to come down here and you know we want this we want this torch to be fairly perpendicular to the the basis material so um, let's press a line and let's move the torch so it's fairly aligned with the material here. Um, now we can start our search. So in this case, our search, it doesn't, the height doesn't really matter because 
the wire sense function is going to shoot the wire out until it touches the material first, and then it's going to go across and try to find this edge. So that way it has a nice reference point to what the zero height is in the metal first. So we're going to move our torch over a little bit in line with this little Sharpie mark we made where our end is, and we're going to hit start. Okay, so now we need to find the edge. So we go to our next waypoint, and let's move the torch over to where that edge is supposed to be. So what's going to happen is where we tell it the edge is going to be is where it's going to think, it's going to say it's going to use for, it's that's going to be its zero point. So it's going to be the reference point in which to gauge our part movement with. So if our part moves in a positive Y direction uh, from where it was supposed to find it, then whatever that distance is, it calls that the offset. So if it's two millimeters in that direction, that's our offset. That's how far that end point on the weld's gonna move. So let's press okay there. All right, now, now let's do our end position. So we're just gonna do an air move up here. Update waypoint. And now we're gonna do another edge detect. So let's add edge detect again. Let's come down about where we're gonna be. Let's do um, a um, S search for our start search. Give it a name here. Let's tell it's gonna be three millimeters. And let's create waypoint. So again, we're gonna do a line, align it to the the perpendicular to the table, which will be perpendicular to the part. And let's run it down. And again, this distance isn't super important because the, um, the search is gonna set up a reference point before it actually starts. So we're about 20 millimeters away, 15 millimeters away. So let's just hit go here and let's create another waypoint for the search or the edge of the material that we wanna find. So I'm just bumping it over. We could do this by hand if we wanted, but I'm just gonna bump it over by hand, a little bit more accurate. So that's about where our, our material is gonna be. So press okay there. So now our search is gonna go over to find the edge, wherever that material is moved is where it's going to offset our start of a weld versus what we did on this other end. So now let's go into our strip weld. Now we have to add these in. So beforehand, we had a different name. Uh, we've deleted those searches. They don't exist anymore. So let's add our new searches. So we have a search start for our, I'm sorry, search end for our end position. So uh, then we need to go to our start point and we need to use this, the S start. So we now have our offsets for the start position and the end position of this a strip weld that we're putting in. And then let's, let's see where this air move is going. So to make sure we're not going to hit anything. There we go. So Let's play it and see what happens. Now we're not gonna weld in this case, but we're just gonna let it find the part. So let's press play and see what we get. And there you have it. Now you have your four strip welds that are in line with the edge of the material. So once this is done, we'll move the plate a little bit, we'll re rerun our search, and then we'll see what results we get. So we moved our second home, the robot's out of the way. Let's just move this plate here a little bit. So we'll move our search closer and our end farther away. Let's clamp it down and let's start over again. And again, our robot's gonna be on target because now it's found the edge of that material for both the start and the end position. It's a straight line, so it's gonna add four strip welds and a straight line all the way across this edge. It's a very nice feature for when you can't do touch sensing, you don't have enough surface to actually find the edge. Um, now again, to use this function, you have to have the CMT torch and you have to have the CMT software option in the Fronius. 
Um, but if it's something to where you just can't get around it, it's awesome to have. It does a great job. It's quick um, and uh, it'll make life a lot easier and get you um, better quality on your production and um, allow you to do things you couldn't do.